the destructive force of Mother Nature. Deadly, indifferent, overwhelming. But these natural disasters can generate massive quantities of data. Data we can use to mount our first line of defense. This is Popocatépetl. Located just 40 miles southeast of Mexico City, it's one of North America's most active volcanoes. Volcano expert Carlos Gutierrez Martinez is alarmed by Popocatépetl's recent spike in seismic activity. This is a fragment thrown away from the volcano during a minor explosion. He warns that this volcano could be building up to a major eruption. If this uh, volcano explodes, it can scatter all those debris and fragments up to 30 miles to the south. For Andre Castillo Castro and his family, a major eruption could mean total annihilation. They live in Santiago Salitzintla, one of several small villages near the base of the volcano, right in the path of destruction. In the case of a big, big explosion from the volcano, we could have something similar to the St. Helen volcano. Despite the danger, Andre says most villagers won't uproot their families or abandon their farms until they're ordered to evacuate. That means thousands of lives could depend on Mexican authorities knowing when this volcano might be ready to blow. This is the National Center for Disaster Prevention, or Cenebred, in Mexico City. It's their job to inform the government when an evacuation may be necessary. Researchers here rely on a constant stream of data to tell them if events like this are just a harmless release of pressure or the beginnings of a catastrophic volcanic eruption. If we see all the bars going up, it means that there's a lot of seismic energy being released. The volcano is really trembling a lot. Cenepred works with the National Autonomous University of Mexico, or UNAM, to operate a network of remote sensors and digital cameras on and around the volcano. We have collected a lot of information uh, related with the seismicity, the ash emissions, the explosions. The remote sensors feed researchers thousands of data points per second, enabling 24-7 data analysis that can sense a pending eruption in real time. Now we can look at much more information. We could pull it out right away and we could do a lot of analysis. With the, all the data information that we have right now, we can make definitely better decisions. Fortunately for the residents of Santiago Salitzintla, any decision to evacuate will be driven by data. But at least for now, researchers say, it's safe for families like the Castillo Castros to get on with their lives near the base of the volcano.